Hey everyone, Ashton Meyer here. There has been a question that has been asked numerous times during my four-year journey. And that question is, how do you keep moving forward when you don't want to go forward? What did you do to keep going forward? What did you do to never give up? So I wanted to give you just a few things that have helped push me through my hard times, through the things that I've been through, and I'm hoping that this will help enlighten you and inspire you to get past the funk, to overcome obstacles, to just drive towards your goals. So first off, I want to say that our greatest disability is our mind. Our mind is our greatest disability. I look at myself and think of myself as my mind like a, pin, a pinball machine, you know, there's times where you're you're playing and it has that game that if you hit the ball in a certain area, you get multiple balls like going all over the place, right? That's like our mind. All of a sudden, one thing hits one place and then there's 50 million things that scatter all over the place, at least for some people. And that's me. That is me. One thing can trigger 50 million different emotions and you're like, oh, <laughs> and in this journey, that was something that I had to realize. And I thank God every single day because becoming a Teen Beach Body coach, we are one of our vital behaviors was personal development. So I did personal development to continue to retrain my mind. So that's the first thing I'm going to tell you right now is your mind. When something hits you, whether it's a circumstance, whether even if it's like a, you know, a family member that passes away or something personal that goes on in your life and you're like, oh my gosh, I, you know, the world's on top of you or there's something in front of you and that is you. And it's not about you being heartless because you're not being heartless. You go through your emotion, but give yourself a day. Give yourself a day. It's actually the opposite. You are going to, you love yourself so much enough to not let those circumstances determine where it is that, that you want to go, what you can do with your life. Don't let anyone or anything stop you from achieving those goals because ultimately nothing can. It's you, you that are walking this journey. Now me, I know I'm walking this journey with God and he, like, I can't do anything without him, but if I'm not walking it, that I'm not walking it. You still have to walk it. You still have to go through it. So you need to find something that's going to remind you how powerful you are, how strong you are, the reason why you're, you have your goal. Because when you have that why, if it's truly that important to you, you're not going to make excuses. That's only going to push you further into your goal. For me to get healthy, my kids were my why. I looked at that cupcake and I'm like, okay, putting it on a scale. Hmm, my kids or a cupcake? My kids or a cupcake? Okay, my kids. I needed that when I first started my journey. I couldn't treat myself in the beginning of my journey because I knew that I would easily fall back into old habits. Now I can treat myself. It's in moderation. I have more control. I have more discipline because I have stayed focused on the small daily consistent task. I have to remind myself it once I start falling off the wagon and I get in the bad habit, I'm like, all right, what are you doing, Ashton? Come on. Why are you doing what you're doing? So find something that's going to trigger you and push you to remind yourself about that. Because you're, you're too valuable not to go for your goals and not to go for your dreams. And I'm talking about big dreams. Who are you going to offend if you don't achieve your, or if, if you achieve your goals? Okay, so finding that, your mind is going to be number one. Get out of your head 
and tell yourself that you are fully capable of achieving what it is that you want to achieve. Push past the barriers of yourself and go. Don't let those things stop you. You will thank yourself in the long run. I went through hard times. I, I, we all do. And I know that I get in my head plenty. What do I do? I know that I have to read or I have to write or I have to listen. And then I get right back on track. Because look at it this way. You have your goal set up, right? You have a dream. You have this vision. You know what you want. And you're going for it and something hits you and you're like, oh yeah, okay. And then you get so frustrated because you get off path. First of all, maybe you were supposed to be off the path. And it's leading you to become more stronger. Who knows? But... If you don't go forward, how much closer will you be towards your goal if you stop? What's going to happen if you quit? What's going to happen if you give up? You're going to be down on yourself. You're going to be upset and angry that, you, that you're not any closer to your goals and your dreams. And it's all you. You are telling yourself that you can't do this. You're telling yourself that you're so upset with yourself. And instead, you need to stop. You need to feel your heart. And it's beating. And understand that you still have life left. You still have a goal left. You still have dreams left. And the only thing that will stop you is you. Okay, Ash, and that sounds so, like, simple, you know? No, it really is that simple. We overcomplicate things way too much when it is very simple. It's about you telling yourself, you know what? This is my goal. This is why I have my goal set. And this is what I'm going to do to get there. I did have something that hit me, you know. This happened in my life, but all that's going to do is it's going to push me to achieve my goals. Why? Well, let me ask you, why'd you even start in the first place? If you were going to be so easy to give up and quit on yourself and on your goals and tell yourself that you can't do it, why did you start? There's a reason that things are placed on your heart to achieve. There are reasons why things are put in your path to get you to where you want to go. We have to look at the things in life that really hit us as it strengthens us. I would not be where I'm at if I didn't go through all the crap that I went through. I thank God daily for those things. I wouldn't be sitting here thanking him if it wasn't for those things, I wouldn't be sitting here achieving the goals that I'm achieving if it wasn't for going through those hard times. If I had this whole easy life, which no one has an easy life, we're not guaranteed an easy life. We don't know what people go through. We have no clue what people go through. Remember your goal. Remember your why. Look in the mirror and tell yourself. This was placed on my heart for a reason. I am not going to stop. I'm not going to give up. You know, I might fall, but I'm going to get back up. They always say keep your chin up or look up or step back up. Why do they say up? Why? I don't know. Maybe it's a coincidence. But up. What is the big deal with up? No one wants to fall down, right? No one, it's, it's going up. Remind yourself, get out of your mind. Look for a book, look for a quote, look for a scripture, look for a verse, look for a devotional, something to help you go forward. It is that simple to speak. Flip the switch. What if that one moment of that struggle was your big aha moment to push you forward, but you decided to quit? That little, er, that event that occurred that was so traumatic was the thing that was going to push you forward, but instead 
You stopped. You didn't move. It's life. Three words. Life goes on. Life goes on. You're living it. You're breathing it. Hold that. Your heart's beating. Life isn't done. Never give up. And go and get your goals and your dreams. No matter how long it takes you. Just don't stop.